interested in talk to you about the sediments and nutrients that were coming into Waituna Lagoon and how they are affecting the health of the lagoon. Now Greg, if there is too much of that stuff it could cause the lagoon to flip. What is meant by flipping? So lake flipping, I've uh, set up a little model here just to demonstrate what a lake flip is. So in, uh, in this tank here we've got a uh, pretty much the situation we've got at the moment. So we've got nice tea stained uh, lagoon water, we've got um, got macrophytes growing, so we've got the, the milliophorum growing there, we've got some rupia in there. So what happens with the classic lake flip is it's like a sort of a, a, a toss of the coin. So we've got the, the good side and the side we definitely don't want to get to. So what happens we have uh, increase in nutrients and sediments and that drives I guess all the, the negative things that are happening in the lagoon. So we've got the, the increase of all the slime algae and then we see a decrease in the plants. So that's because they're getting out shaded just by the uh, macroalgae. And then we see a shift. So we go from a, a sort of clearish state like this to what we don't want. And that's in this tank. So in here we've got pretty much no life. So we've got anoxic sediments. We've got um, water that smells. We've lost all our plants. And we've got sediments that essentially look like this. So they're black, Ugh, gunky. It's pretty smelly too. That's right, and they smell. And in here, what we don't want is pretty much no life, no plants, and it's a very, very hard thing to come back from here to the situation we've got now. So something that we definitely want to prevent, and tomorrow we're going to see what's been done to try and stop Waituna Lagoon from flipping.